So this was um, the real napkin poop video that should have gone with the uh, stamping of the napkin poop video, but I picked the wrong video because they both had the same time mark on them. Uh, so, you know, I guess it was a gamble. <laughs> And I picked the wrong one. So this is the video that I meant to play last week. And um, I'm using the glue stick with this napkin poop. As I said in the last video, um, the glue stick tends to work better if you don't want ink to run. Although I did test some wet glue this weekend uh, or this week paint, uh, using them on painty papers. And I did do wet glue on the bottom and then wet glue on the top so it really adheres the napkin to the page and it gives it a really cool thickness and texture. And most of the ink didn't run. Uh, a little bit of it streaked, but if it did streak, I was already over, over brushing. You know, I was going over it too many times anyway. So you can use wet glue. I don't in the book because I don't want to wait for it to dry because I bounce from page to page and I, I don't, I would rather just, um, I would rather just have it be on the ready and not have to use my heat tool because, you know, who got time for that? So this paper here was from my daughter's school. They had a little Santa's workshop and I volunteered for a couple of days for a few hours. And then I had lunch with her, which was very nice because uh, it's not something that we do all the time. And we had a, it was a very good time. I really enjoyed working with the kids and helping the kids pick out their gifts. And it's just so funny to see how their little brains work when they're, you know, thinking of somebody else or buying something for somebody else. It's just, it's really cute. So, um, that was a lot of fun. I did that, you know, and I'll do, if, if I have the time, then I'll do that. Um, I'm having the glue trouble and I think later on in this video, uh, I end up fixing my glue. It takes some work, but I did get it working. And I think it was just the glue in the bottle was dried, drying, because the lid was full of glue crud, which if it's full of glue crud, then it's not making a good seal. And if it's not making a good seal, the glue inside is slowly but surely drying and dying and never coming back. So I filled it with, I put a tiny little bit of water and then I just added fresh glue from a brand new bottle. Um, but I do like the upside down bottle, which is why I don't get rid of that. This, um, little grid thing, that's what the kids would come in with. Parents would fill out who they had to shop for ages of siblings and stuff so that you knew what to get. And you could put your price limit if you wanted. And I don't think any of the kids stuck to that and I don't think any of the kids bought for all the people they needed <laughs> they needed to buy for but you know it was uh, it it worked and they had fun and I'm sure that Christmas morning will be wonderful in their home when people open up their presents but it was we we had a good time uh you know and it was it was just cute seeing them walk around with their money they they all had no concept at all of uh how much money they had so they would just go around and fill their little baskets up to the brim and they get to the checkout counter and they have a $20 bill and they have $60 worth of stuff in their little basket so it was cute um but yeah we had a we had a good time and I always like helping out at the school and I like being a part of things so you know my parents didn't really get a chance to be a part of things when I was growing up because they were uh working and you know, doing stuff. So it's nice to be able to, to be there and volunteer at the school. Uh, I really like this red one. I used a couple of different reds. As you can see, some of them came out pink. I don't know what that's all about, uh, but I am finding, which I've heard a couple of people talk about this in videos, um, red paints and red inks and stuff. It is very, um, tricky I guess to come across something that is a true red like I, I've not yet found a really good red metallic paint uh, I've been looking uh, you know it's like it's like trying to find a hen's tooth so maybe someday I will be blessed with a red metallic but for right now I got magenta 
and that's got to be close enough but yeah some of the ink on this was supposed to be like a uh, fire engine red or something and it came out pink which I was kind of confused by but anyway I do like the candies that's one of my homemade stamps I used some little foam stickers that I had gotten uh, I had gotten a whole bunch of foam stickers actually from a thrift store and I might do a video on the foam stickers I have and offer to make some foam stamps for you people if it is something that you would be interested in because I do have a lot of them. Um, that's a little Santa bag that I got from Beth. I have not put that in yet because uh, I want to use it to put some put some goodies in. And these are the pictures I printed out of the little event they had at her school last week where you would go from station to station all around the school. There was um, pictures with Santa. The next one down is art where they made a little snowman ornament. Um, the one that I'm cutting right now, they did a reindeer race where you blew through a straw and you saw how far your reindeer went. Um, they had, you know, dancing and karaoke party. It was really, it was really sweet. Oh, and they had hot cocoa and story time in the library so it was it was a lot of fun we had a good time so I don't know why my pictures came out so light looking but uh I don't care I, I glued them down anyway and I decided to be all fancy pants and I put mats behind my pictures so that they looked magnificent those are my Christmas words I have not used any of them yet I will be when I go through and embellish some of the pages and add a few little things. So you'll be there for that. These words are in my Etsy store. The page that you see is one of the, the kits that I printed out to see how it looked. So when you get yours, yours might be a little bit different because I did make some tweaks and changes. Um, I lightened up the background a bit and I um, changed some of the coloring of the fonts so that you could actually read them and they looked much better. But it is really the last list of Christmas words you will ever need. And if you buy one of those kits, which I just lowered the price, if you do buy one of those kits, um, you could print them out next year and the year after that and the year after that and the year after that. And you can just use them forever. And I even have quotes in the back, you know, on the last few pages I put in some cute little Christmas lyrics and quotes. So... Uh, I had a lot of fun making that list. I had a lot of fun thinking of words and brainstorming with my family about what words and quotes and lyrics and we had a lot of fun making that. So I am using some of my scrapbook paper since I have 450 tons of it and I am gluing my pictures on it and as you know look at how fancy I am. I am putting sweet little frame mats on my photographs. Ain't I just the fanciest pants? So um, I, I'm really enjoying tracking my memories in here. I hope that someday my children don't just throw all these books out when I die and that they keep them. <laughs> but, you know, I can't, I can't say what's going to happen when I die. That's one of my cheap pens. Um, <laughs> when I wrote on it, as you can see, it is like absorbing into the paper. So... Um, I should get my regular white pen out, but I like the, I like the thickness of that nib and my, you know, my jelly rolls, they're, they're a thin pen, but I'm just gonna have to learn how to write pretty and, and put some, put it on there, you know, make some nice lettering. Um, but it's, re I'm having a really good time just keeping track of my memories. Look, there I go yawning during a live stream. I'm having a really good time, you know, tracking my memories and um, recording them and trying to remember things of my past and include them in. So I want to try and make lists of Christmas gifts. I doubt I'll get it, I'll get it all, but when we open gifts on Christmas morning, maybe I will have lists. I can write lists of gifts that people received and gave but it's uh it, this journal's been a lot of fun you know I'm I'm really bummed that I didn't do one the last couple of years now although at the time I wasn't so you can't regret it you know you got to just live with the decision and that's what I'll do live with the decision that I made 
And the best part is, I've been drinking hot cocoa while I make these videos. So I have hot cocoa in my cup, even though it's loaded with sugar and garbage. I still been having a cup of hot cocoa every once in a while at night, which isn't something I haven't done in many, many, many years. So it's been, I've been feeling very festive apparently in my hot cocoa-ness. And Lily is right next to me and she wants to talk some. Yeah. So, <laughs> why well, don't I get like my sister right now? Um, so, yeah. I do. <laughs> I do not know why mom put those pictures in there. Because <laughs> they're the memories. And mom's just saying, because they're the memories. Oh, and that's the little ticket that Lily got. She won a free homework pass, but like her teachers, they don't give homework unless the kids are having a problem. And so you can't use that homework pass to say, here, I'm not going to, I'm not going to study for my vocab test. And so when I was in the kitchen, when we first got home and we were going to have like a bowl of cereal for dinner because we weren't ready for dinner. And anyway, <laughs> I said to mom, I said, if you want this, you can perfectly have it because I'd rather do my homework than skip it. Cause I'm not one of those kids that can be just like, I'm just gonna be a lazy bum, and I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my homework pass all I want, and I'm gonna not, I'm gonna skip my homework, and I'm like. You know she's lying, you know she would totally skip it. But her teachers don't really give homework anyway, so. Yeah, yeah they do. No, only if you're having trouble in an area. They give you I'm a, not, I don't some have any teeth. troubles in any areas. Oh. Cause I haven't gotten homework. Aren't you just brilliant? Oh my goodness. So, um, but yeah, she, you know, the homework that she gets is like, vocab lists which you can't really skip and she gets they'll send home math homework if there's some trouble in an area in math those are the little reindeer tickets um they you know they fill out their score on the tape measure how far their reindeer flew so i put both of mine together vera didn't have anything written on hers besides her little name um, but lily wrote down what her scores were and I think I put Vera's score. I think I wrote it in there. Because at the time I remembered it, you know. So, can anyone guess the scores that I got during the Rainbow Race? What did you get? I got, a, I know a few of them. I think I got a 70 and a 90. 90 inches is how far Lily's windpipe could blow her uh, reindeer. So just goes to like show you the, she is literally just a bag back, of wind. Here is the, here's what the noise was. <sighs> that's what the yep. noise was? What, yep. what is that on your book? That's, um, that's tissue paper. That looks like a drawing. Oh, on the paper? Yeah. Oh, that's ink. I just, put, I just took ink and I just rub it on the pages just to give it some... Just add something to the pages so they're not all blank and boring. You know, I can have some fun elements on there. Is that, is that? And that, and you can see my face, that's a viewer's face. Mom's covering viewer's face. Like, and then, <laughs> how long is this video? We'll go, and I'll meet you out there for our Connect Four. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. So it was kind of hard to use the, the um, tissue paper as a photo mat, but I made it work. And I just love that tissue paper. Oh, it's like my fave. Um, my fave. So that's what I, that's what I did. And then that one, you know, I had one little piece of tissue paper left and it worked out perfectimus maximus. So, um, yeah, just put that picture on there and... It is all done. And then you can take that. You might hear some background noise because I'm going to be doing the next one. Okay, come on. Is mom doing a live show? Let's see. And I'll read I'm not. It to you. So, well, yeah, wait, children, you know, they listen very nicely. All right, I think I might have a little bit of peace and quiet. 
So these are those window clings, and I learned that they don't stick. Um, they're like a plasticky. I, I didn't realize <clears throat> what they were when I when I um, grabbed them from Dollar Tree, but <clears throat> it did work putting a little glue on. I'll have to see. I'll have to check today to see if it's stuck. But I just put a little bit of glue. And they did stick, and I really like those window clings. There's some really neat ones there. Uh, I grabbed like ten sheets, so there's all different, all different clinging sheets. Um, I love the snowflake sheets. They are so 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 pretty, and I'm just glue. I'm just gonna glue them on there. You know, just what ifs. I'm just you know I'm I'm just so into remembering, keeping the memories. That's a little paper we got from McDonald's. They're doing like some kind of weekly deal with a sweepstakes or something once a week. So I kept it. I don't know why, but I just did. So I decide to um, create a little tip in, I guess. I think anyway. You know, I don't remember what I do, so it's all new to me too. Look at this. We're learning together. We're figuring out what we do, what I do. Oh, yes, yes, I, I add the ribbon on the, the edge. I remember ribbon now. And I really, um, I've been really getting into the embellishing part of, of the whole you know, each little item, instead of just trying to hurry up and glue things in, um, I've been really enjoying taking my time and decorating things like that with a little piece of ribbon. And of course, my handy dandy stapler. I love it. I use it for everything. Staple everything. Staple your mouth shut. Give me any crap. Um, but as you can see, the napkin poop background is terrific. And I really enjoyed using it. And I'm really, I really, uh, I'm really glad that I have a lot of it. And this is one of those cards that comes from the scrapbook paper uh, pads. And I just journal about volunteering at the school for their little Santa's workshop. Just to remember, just to remember the, the, the time I had and the kids that I saw. And how much fun it was. So maybe someday I'll look back on this stuff and and enjoy the memory. Enjoy the little little blurb about my Christmas this year. Oh, and this one, yep, this one I, I tie in like a tag. Again, just trying to think of different ways to attach things. Um, and different ways to embellish things, which is something I never really uh, focused on. I was more focused on just gluing things in and making things, you know, making it collage. But now I'm, I'm enjoying the little elements. So yeah, that's what I worked on. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.